All right, today we got a body weight circuit. No equipment needed. We'll start off some lunges. We'll get a quick preview of all the exercises that we're gonna to do today. Many variations of lunges. You can do the standard, you can do hopping ones, you can do jumping ones. You can tuck the leg in behind you and make it hard. Squats, pretty straightforward. If you wanna make it tougher, jump. Go deep, get your butt down. Leg drops, many variations. Single leg, double leg. You can do double leg, a little hold at the bottom. Put your legs up to the side. I don't know, get creative. Make it tough. This is on your abs. While you're down there, you're gonna do some bridge. You can make this tougher by putting that leg up. You can also do a reach cross, hand to foot. Those abs will be firing. Make sure you are totally engaged on those bridges. All right, plank. Elbows, hands, your choice really. Uh, to make it harder, you do these variations. Putting up the leg, putting up the leg and an arm. Just make sure your core is on. Work on that back while you're down there. Superheroes. And then, ooh, baby. Burpees, everyone loves a burpee. Many variations, you do simple ones. Put the legs behind, put the legs all the way back into that plank, and you can add that push up. Either way, they're all hard. Lateral jumps, double leg, single leg. You can go super deep, you can go super shallow and speedy. It's your choice, really. And the reverse burpee. Uh, you can scale up. You can do that just sit down one. You can roll to your back, use both hands to get up, or you could use no hands to get up. And then we'll finish with bicycle abs. Get that core engaged. Many different ways to do this. You can do just legs. You can do legs and upper body. Let's start. Five, four, three, two, one. Like every good circuit, we'll be on for 45 seconds. We'll rest for 15. High intensity. It doesn't last long, but you'll get the work in. With these lunges and with every exercise, over and over and over again. You want those abs on. What do I mean by that? You know that muscle that you want to stop yourself peeing midstream? I know, it's kind of crude. That's the best way to describe it. That is your deep core muscle. Turn it on with every exercise. Engage that. It's a Kegel, I don't know, it's got a few different names, but it's your transverse abdominus, I think is the scientific name. You want that engaged doing all your exercises. Okay, lunges, squats, abs, everything. All right, heart rate should be up by now. And we'll get into the squats. If you're feeling brave, do squat jumps. Obviously this video is for one set through. You can do multiple sets of this circuit. I usually do three if I'm feeling good. Uh, two is plenty especially if you go with the harder version of all the exercises. Uh, so if you're crunched on time, you can get a killer workout in 20 minutes. Just make all the exercises hard, uh, and choose the harder options. Obviously form over bravery every time. You know, you wanna be uh, a go-getter. But if you've got crappy form because you're trying to do the squat jumps, that's not good, just stick with the squats. All right, three, two, one. Squat strip. All right, and these leg drops. Abs on. Get that muscle engaged. Learn it. It's your best friend. Deep core muscle. Let's get after some leg drops. That's Lola. If you haven't met Lola yet, she loves sticking her face in my face when I'm doing my abs. Good gym dog. She really just wants me to go play fetch with her. That's understandable. All right, you should be feeling these. I was getting after it that day. Get those lower abs going, get creative. Keep it interesting. You move the legs in different patterns. I've done ones where you write the alphabet with your feet, you sky write. No matter what, just have that core engaged the whole time. Now for the other side, your bridges. 
your butt muscles, your glutes. You're gonna wanna make sure those are engaged when you're lifting up and putting your pelvis up in the air. Make sure that that core is engaged, your back's engaged, your glutes are engaged, hamstrings, everything. A whole solid plank down the back of your body. It's great. Six pack is nice. This helps out the other side as well. Ooh, I think I learned that move from Instagram. Pilates, yoga, all these different uh, classes that have obviously grown more popular over the last few years. You can learn so much from them. Okay, some of the core work, and some of the exercises that they present in those classes are just incredible. This being one of them. All right, we're resting for 15. Next up, plank. Like I said, elbows, hands, it's your choice really. Uh, the big thing is that you're literally a plank. Your butt shouldn't be peaked up in the air and you shouldn't be dipped in the middle either. You should be literally a plank, a straight kind of board across your back because your abs are super strong. I so said you can just sit there for 45 seconds or you can do these kind of movements to spice it up a little. Really all you're doing is just kind of throwing your body for a loop, make sure that is engaged when you're doing these kind of movements. I'm just teaching your body how to stabilize itself in an unstable position. Five seconds of plank left. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, superheroes, let's do it. on those back muscles go 45 seconds if you have a surf trip coming up this is your favorite exercise because if you've ever tried surfing and you don't have a strong back like this you will feel it within about the first five minutes of trying to paddle out to get some waves the core is still engaged it's not a huge movement but it's a good one you want to get creative you do these kind of alternate like a right foot up left arm up at the same time same thing just challenges your body in an unstable position all right rest in three two one rest all right burpees let's do it all right should be decently up now and after this it'll be way up burpees we got lots of variations it's really your choice. Um, form over bravery. Again, you can do the full one like this with the push up and everything, keep your feet way back if you're in that good plank position. You don't have to. You can just go down like that. Touch the ground, bend your knees, go to a deep squat. You can go to like a little bear, um, bear crawl, I think that's what it's called, where your feet don't go all the way back. They just go a little bit back do almost like a little froggy jump. You're moving your body, that's a win. Like I said, if you wanna do more, just do more rounds of the same circuit. Do it three times. All right, the heart rate should be way up and you have rest in three, two, one. Lateral jumps are next, side to side. Like I said, you can go double leg if you want. Do nice little quick ones. You can do single leg, quick, or super big and long. You can add almost like a single leg squat at the far end of each jump. Kind of like I said earlier, the big thing is keep your abs on. When you're throwing your body side to side, yeah, of course, it's like strengthening your legs, making your legs nice and strong but your whole body is activated because you're controlling that deceleration of that mass going sideways. If your core is not strong, it'll be tippy and you'll have bad balance. So this is a leg exercise, yes, but it's also a core exercise. And you're gonna rest in three, two, one, rest. 
All right, this is a, probably a new one for most of you because I think I just kind of made it up. It's a reverse burpee. So normal burpee, you go to the front side. Reverse burpee, you go to your back side. Same thing, you can scale up from here. You can go all the way on your back like that and use no hands to get up. That's abs, momentum, legs, everything. It's tough. Or you can scale down, use both hands to kind of rock yourself and help push yourself up. Or you could just sit down on your bum and get up. Either way, no matter what, if you're jumping at the end and going up, down, up, down, up, down for 45 seconds, your heart rate's gonna be up, you're working, you're getting a good exercise. Like I said, if you're doing multiple rounds of this circuit, you'll be plenty tired. You're resting in three, two, one. We are gonna finish with some bicycle abs. The heart rate is rocking right now. Finish strong, bicycle abs. Your legs are alternating like you're riding a bike. Your abs are on and you can scale up from here. You can touch your heels. You can just go on your back. No matter what, your abs are on, of course. I know I'm a broken record. If you want to scale up after you pet your dog, you can bring your upper body up like this. And kind of meet your legs each time. A little added element. Give your toes a tap. I don't know, keep it interesting. No matter what, if you're going to do this more times, do it with good form, do it with good intensity. It doesn't take forever. Pat yourself on the back at the end. It's a good circuit. Go play fetch a little after. 